Hello everyone, welcome to Duet 25th Tommy Lead Code Challenge and today's question is Evaluate Reverse Polish Notation In this question we are given an array that contains elements in reverse polish notation and we need to evaluate the complete expression So let's understand the question and the solution by the presentation that I have created for this and let's get started So let me just take a pen here and start the slideshow Evaluate reverse polish notation lead code 150 guys. It's a simple question. I hope you'll be able to solve it by yourself Do give it a shot before understanding the solution further So let's understand the polish notation We have three types of notations the infix notation the postfix notation the prefix notation Which maps to an in order traversal the post order traversal the pre order traversal Wherein you are giving given in infix notation you are given two operands and you have an operator in between so you, you can evaluate it by a plus b format in postfix notation uh, you are given operands first followed by the operator similar to post order traversal and in prefix notation you are given the operator first followed by the two operands pretty straightforward in terms of trees and the notations so there's a direct mapping between the notation and the traversals so how do we go about this? So let's try and do some analysis on the uh, test cases. I have taken a slightly simpler example here so that you get a better hold of the concept. The first element is two. So we'll add it into a stack. We'll use a stack of strings and we'll add two to it. And then there comes one. Since one is also not an of any of the operator, we'll add it to the stack. Then finally, we have a new token which happens to be an operator. So this is an operator. So what we're going to do, we'll pull out top two elements from the stack and push and do the operation and push back the result similar to something like this. So we'll pull the element, this element, element two, we'll pull L this element, element one. I'll tell you why I am calling these this the top one as element two and the bottom one as element one you pull out these two elements and you'll perform the operation using the operator that you pulled out and push back the result so element two here would be one element one here would be two you'll do the adding operation the answer will be three you'll add it back into the stack and stack dot peak will be your result So let's try and look at another example. We have two, one plus three multiplication sign. So let's try and evaluate it. We get two, two is not an operator. We'll push it into the stack. Now comes one, one is not an operator. We'll push into the stack. Next we have a plus, which is happens to be an operator. Whenever you see an operator, pull out two elements and perform the operation, push the result back into the stack. So this will be element second this would be element one and this is one this is two two plus one is three so we'll push back three into the stack and continue the operation next we have three which happens to be an integer not an operator so we'll continue the process next we have a multiplication sign which happens to be an operator since we saw C an operator again, we'll pull out two elements on the stack and perform the operation, push back the result. This will be element two. This will be element one. So three into three is nine. The stack will hold nine. The result is nine, which is a peak element of the stack. Now, let me tell you why I called the topmost element as element two and the lower element as element one. So let's try and evaluate this expression. We have two we get one which is not an operator next we have subtraction sign so since this happens to be an operator you will pull out two elements and this will act as the second element whereas the lower element will act as the first element otherwise what will happen you will give false result because you will do one minus two rather the intention is to perform two minus one so this is my first element this is my second element and this is one this is two. So what the intention is to perform two minus one, not one minus two. The answer is one. You'll push back one 
into the stack this is the result so let's try and do uh, do uh, the evaluation on a slightly longer string we have 4 we have 13 we have 5 we have division we have addition so let's start we have 4 4 is not an operator push into the stack 13 is not an operator push into the stack 5 is not an operator push into this next we have division operator since it's an operator you'll pull out two elements on the stack the first one will mark for the second element and the lower will mark for the first element so what we are going to do we'll perform element 1 divides element 2 so 13 by 5 the answer is 2 and you'll push 2 onto the stack as your result next we have plus uh, it's again an operator we again will do a similar process we will pull out two elements from the stack this will be element 2 el2 and this will be element 1 and we will perform the operation 4 plus 2 this which happens to be 6 the answer of this expression is 6 now let's look at the coding part the first thing that i will do here is to define a stack of generic type string and next i'll start the iteration over the tokens array here i will check whether the current element into consideration happens to be an operator or an operand if it is not an operator that means operand then i'll simply push that element onto the stack without doing anything if it happens to be an operator consider this as a black box method right now if it happens to be an operator i'll pull out two elements on the stack that two in reverse order so el2 will be the first element el1 will be the second element to be pulled out and i'll create a new variable answer that will store the answer of the operation performed on these two elements if my element the current operator or the element happens to be a multiplication one i'll perform the multiplication operation if it happens to be the division operator I, i'll perform the division operation if it is addition, I'll perform the addition operation. If it is subtraction, I'll perform the subtraction, subtract operation. And in the end, I'll simply push the result back onto the stack. Pretty straightforward. Also, let's talk about the is operator method that I have created here. It's a simple method which which basically checks if the current element into consideration happens to be equal to any of the possible operators multiplication division addition and subtraction if that is the case we return true otherwise we'll return false what is the time complexity of this approach time complexity is order of n because uh, you are iterating over all the elements of the tokens and similarly uh, let's try this code accepted I hope you liked today's video. If you liked it, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Have a great day and thanks for watching it.